Welcome back to the channel and today I have a real quick tutorial for you and that is how do you take an SVG file that you can get for free on the internet. So in this case we're going to be using this Lion SVG. By the way that stands for Scalable Vector Graphics. And then you can just take it, import it into Blender and then you can do some fun things like in this case um, once it's imported you can go to your curves, you can give it some extrusion, you can give it some bevel depth there's all sorts of cool things you can do with an SVG. So it's a quick way of taking a logo or something that you have, turning it into a 3D model. So I'm gonna show you how to do that. And that's something that is also edit editable with the um, curve points. Another thing I'm gonna show you to do is also just convert it into a mesh if you wanted to. But this is really handy. So let's quickly jump into this. I hope you enjoy this little tutorial and that you're able to implement it somehow into your Blender workflow. Now there are many different scalable vector graphics you can get on the internet, but this is one specific one that I liked and it's on svgrepo.com. You could just type in free SVG and you'll get a ton of results on the internet. Now I'm gonna put a link to this exact one in the description below. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna go ahead and click on download SVG vector and it'll download it to your downloads folder. So I'm gonna go to my downloads over here is where it is. I'm just going to make sure I remember where that is and let's jump into Blender. And then what we're going to do is we'll just go ahead and just select everything and just press delete. And this is really, really simple. All you have to do is go to File, then go to Import, and then come down and you're actually going to see the extension .svg. So you're going to go down Scalable Vector Graphics, so .svg you're going to click on that, and in this case, it's in my downloads folder. I can see here it's called Lion Face Outlined Front SVG Repo. I'm going to click on it, and I'm going to go ahead Import SVG. And here you can see, there it is. Now sometimes, and this is something to keep in mind, sometimes it can be really, really tiny. So you might be like this and like, well, where, where's my SVG? You know, you can't see it. And you just have to zoom in to find it, or sometimes it's the opposite. It's so big. And it'll be like, I'm not scaling it right now, but just get the idea. It could be so massive that it could be out there somewhere. So just check around. And also the most important thing, just come here to your scene outliner and you can see here it is. Now, sometimes it imports it in segments, in which case all you have to do is just select all of these curves up here. So you can just select all of them, hold in shift and select a piece. So it's the main active element. And then just go control J or command J and it'll join that all together. Also, if the origin point is not, uh, the, the mesh or curves are not where the origin point is in the middle, you can select the object and just tab into edit mode. You can press A to select everything and just go G and recenter it by bringing it to the middle of the scene where the origin point is like that. So there we have it. So I'm gonna actually just tab back out. And this is really small, so I'm gonna go Shift A. I'm gonna go to my mesh options, just add in a circle and I'm gonna click on the um, line here. I'm just going to go S to scale it up so it's at least as big as the mesh circle and I'm just going to select that circle and press delete. And now what we're going to do is we're going to select this and I'll quickly just show you if you go over to the material properties you can see here by default it's imported just a material here. You can get rid of that if you want. In fact that's what I'm going to do. And then I'm going to go over to my curve properties, the so object data properties, you can see the little curve symbol. And then go over to your geometry. And over here we can do some fun things. So the first thing that I always like to do is come and extrude it. So giving it some thickness and already that makes it look really cool. So if you're doing like a logo or something, um, you can come here and mess around with the bevel. So over here you can give it a little bit of depth. Now one thing to keep in mind, you can see here this is giving a bevel. Okay, and you can see this is artifact that happens here. Now sometimes when that happens, you have to kind of just come in here and this is just something with scalable vector graphics and you might have to do a little bit of moving things around and adjustment to kind of get rid of that. Sometimes it can take a little bit of, you know, messing around with it before you get it to work. Um, you know, it can be a little bit tricky. So just kind of mess around with it till you kind of get what you're looking for you might have to grab some of these points and clean them up just a little bit. It's just sometimes something that happens, um, but it's not too big of a deal. Um, it's generally quite easy to fix. So 
There we go, fix that up, I'm gonna tab back out. So here we have it, we now have the bevel, we have some extrusion, and you can now grab this and you can, you know, rotate it in object mode, mess around with it, pose it, add some materials, some lighting, but let's just say, for example, you want this to be a mesh. So I'm gonna just go ahead and duplicate it just to show an example. So let's say you want this to be an actual mesh and not just some curves. All you have to do is with it selected, it's just press F3 on your keyboard, so F3, and then type in convert, and then convert to mesh. And now if you tab into edit mode, you can see it's a mesh, like so. Now it's a bit messy and triangulated, and there are tools out there that can clean this up for you, but you know, there you have some mesh now, and this is a quick and easy way of taking some SVG files, turning them into 3D models. So I hope you have enjoyed this tutorial, and I'll see you next time.